presence of their deceased mother and their dead-ridden father, Sister Kyoe and Asawa Yamane are forced to fend for themselves. Thankfully, they at least have a roof over their heads, a small room, and an old apartment spacious enough to fit both of them. However, to make ends meet, the older sister, Kayo, strives to juggle various part-time jobs, all make sure that she and her young sister can continue to study. Despite their hardships, they are not alone. Sealing both with good and kind people around them, Kayo and Asha live are far from miserable. Above all else, the two sisters share a precious bond that no matter what pains, trials, and quarrels may come their way, will always remain unbreakable. This anime is with 12 10 episodes. It premiered June 30, 2006 to September 15, 2006, based off a popular manga series. It is comedy, drama, slice of life theme is Ikase. Demographic is Senin. Each minute is each episode is two minutes per episode and is rated G for all ages. Let's, let's dive into another anime review. What I really like about this anime kind of reminds me of another like sister duo that was, you know, struggling to get on hard time, but you know, this time, you know, the other duo kind of spun off a lucky star, but this one right here, it was heartfelt, it was touching, it was warm because having two sisters who don't have any relatives helping them any shape or form and they do so with the kindness of their neighbors and you know, I think it was kind of interesting to have one parent dead and one absent, especially since one has riddled up very high debt high debt and you know the, the story line is pretty much simple you know two sisters living alone in an old apartment you know and there's no really central plot it's done in a very um simpler way i think at some point you do feel pity for them because you know they're by themselves they have no one to look after them besides them like just the two of them and their neighbors who can pitch in any way they can but like, the overall theme here was the relationship that these two girls shared with each other and the bonds they created with their neighbors but more so over i think as the episodes kept developing over time um the story you know gave as much or little detail as possible about these characters and it was well enough to eventually flat like flesh them out as full of developed characters but overall i feel like even though the episode only 10 episodes long i feel there wasn't much time to develop these characters and for the two sisters you can say that the younger sister can be more classified as you know she could, but be mature for your age and then as the older sister you know you they are set apart from other sisters like you know you have the, the two sisters neighbors the other sisters that they encounter and other characters who kind of are thrown or cross their paths in a way it helps bring more plot to them trying to help these two sisters survive and make ends meet but that's also taking out that responsibility to, to provide for our little sister to continue to stay and hopefully grow up and live better lives i think you know that was the touching point for this i think Overall, with being so short with these two sisters, you can really sense their bond and camaraderie that they have for their neighbors and, you know, trying to make their situation much better than it seems and try to make the best out of it because I think they just try their best to make sure each of them have a both good experience. While they're still so young, they're forced to go out very quickly but still enjoy, like, the simple thing like, like going to, like, the festival or, like, you know, trying once in a while to take out of money to get some good meat and, you know, you can see their hardship that they go there but they that is, they their hardship doesn't let them face them as they continue to enjoy life and when the kindness of the neighbors try to help out the best they can you know how much the girls might push back or retaliate you know try not to help out too much they still let the neighbors help in some shape or form that way they don't feel as bad you know letting people like help them in their dire need the situation especially if they have a neighbor who you'll get to see in that episode you think it's kind of mean in the first class but then you understand why he's so mean why so like someone seems like a very protective role over the two girls I think overall with these two sisters by themselves, they learn to lean on one another and how to make, you know, it work. Like the little younger sister, she will, you know, prepare breakfast while her other sister is like out on her early paper run to deliver newspaper before they both have to go to school. And then, you know, pack their lunches and figure out what they have for dinner, you know, they have to skim and save and be frugal on certain things that spend, you know, money on other things that they don't need or something they can't have. So you see them making the sacrifices they need in case that wasn't you know, in absence of a parent's authority or figure around them. And I think they do a good job of, you know, growing up in this world that they live in by themselves without having a parental figure to take on some of the more burden and responsibilities, such as make sure there's food on the table, make sure, you know, the lights don't turn off, and like that. Like, they had to grow up very right quickly to become the adults that they are, but also managed to contain their instant in youth while they're still, like, you know, since they're going through middle school or high school, and I love to just let Elmer school, but definitely check out uh, Binyo Shuga McDory and let me know what you think down in the comments below. Until then, bye!